here is how to correctly connect um, a brush pra here well, I'm not sure how it's pronounced in German a brush pra her T1 LC compact uh, diesel heater oh, this actually is valid for the non-compact model and for other similar models basically I a brush pracher or I think it's also known as SPAR um, has the same wiring over the entire diesel heater range they produce so uh, yeah I found it hard to find out how to connect the wires to the thermostat or the control knob uh, this is the one that I currently have. I can make videos connecting to other types, but basically, uh, for this type, you have brown with with white stripe connected to one. This is, I think, for the uh, thermostat for the temperature. Then the next one is blue with red stripe connected to port to connector number two I think this is a, a data not data but uh, error diagnostic sorry yeah diagnostic wire uh, this should be uh, this is the brown one connected to number three this is um, common or ground not ground but yeah negative uh, the fourth one is vacant, uh, I'm not sure what was it for. The red one is positive 12 volts or in case you have 24 volts, should be positive, positive 24, but this one is the 12 volt version. And the yellow one is the positive 12 volt output. So this is the input, when you turn it on, this is the output. So this uh, this cable loom goes to the control module, and uh, you have some more wires. Brown one and a green one with red stripe. This green one with red red stripe comes from the from the control module. Uh, and those two, the, the brown one, one is obviously the, the common, the zero wire and uh, those two are for the diesel pump uh, they don't have direction, you can swap them over it should not be a problem I don't guarantee but <laughs> I'm pretty sure so check carefully and those two thick wires are the wires that should be connected to your battery uh, of course you should fuse the red one appropriately uh, so this is the positive 12 volt coming from the battery and this is the common zero or ground or I'm not sure how you call it uh, so yeah you should put the appropriate fuse on the red one and those two are additional wires that come with the loom they are not used in many cases I think one of them was for fan only and the other one uh, yeah, the other one was for something else but I don't remember additional sensor or something like that yeah but most of the cases they are not used so now here where the control module is located you have the main connector from which you have the uh, thick brown cable which is 
negative to the globe plug and uh, and the other one going to the globe plug is I think white thick white cable yeah thick white cable motor going to the globe plug uh, so this is one of the connectors and you have two other connectors on the other side of uh, the control module um, they are for the flame sensor and the combustion sensor or something like that yeah uh, the temperature sensor and the flame sensor one detects the temperature to figure out whether the uh, the, the heater yeah. whether there is a flame during startup and the other one is over temperature sensor which just uh, checks the temperature if there is over temperature it the, the heater will will shut off um, automatically usually that happens around 10 12 minutes after start uh, so the, yeah, yeah, the other two sensors um, yeah, they have one of them has two green wires and yeah, our, yeah uh, to open it you have to unscrew this obviously you have to unscrew the, the lid here the cover which is with one hex bolt and then unscrew this like twist it and pull it then here you have uh, some annoying plugs that you have to poke them in the middle there is plastic pin you may not see it. Uh, this plastic pin you have to poke it push it inside so it drops and then uh, pinch the mushroom like pork and pull it out this is annoying and they are usually thrown away once removed and you have to buy new ones so then after you undo all of this you have to This is cover it might be different on the different models. Uh, but yeah, this is done with flat screwdriver. Let me find one. open like that and do the connector okay, to undo the connector obviously press this thing pull This is the overheat sensor and this is the flame sensor. Ah, they are connected to the back side. The heater one is with two green wires and the other one is with two blue wires. 